Now, General Satish Thua, the former chief of the Integrated Defence Staff, uh, is with us. And, and in fact, a uh, uh, nice tweet you put out today, General Thua, earlier today, how you know you had overseen uh, military exercises that India took part in under the SCO in 2018, where you know you were side by side with the Pakistani and Chinese military. Uh, that was, I think, 2018, if I'm not mistaken. So we've really come a long way since then. Uh, but General Dua, I actually wanted to ask you firstly about this disengagement in Ladakh because apart from the opposition Congress which has raised questions on it, a councillor uh, from Ladakh has also expressed some concern that India has ended up conceding to the creation of a buffer zone in its own territory while agreeing to withdraw troops uh, at this particular point. Uh, can you explain to us what, what would be the reality on the ground? Um, look, the uh, first of all, the tweet that you mentioned was uh, was a different reality. It also shows <clears throat> how, uh, in a group dynamics, sometimes bilateral uh, dynamics takes a little backseat, and I think that's the very purpose of such multilateral uh, relations uh, groupings. Uh, coming to your question proper about um, the issues of disengagement and uh, the dynamics that it has thrown up, yes, I also know about. I saw on NDTV the the councillor there has. Um, has spoken about a buffer zone being created. Let me just try and um, demystify that for everyone. Uh, so far, we have a claim line of the LSE and China has a claim line of LSE. Both of them don't necessarily match. In fact, they, uh, they don't, don't match, match at yeah. all. They don't match. So our claim line is several kilometers or a couple of kilometers or several kilometers inside what Chinese uh, claim is their territory and so by the same token their claim line is several a few kilometers uh, or whatever distance inside our uh, territory by our claim line so what that entails is that we have uh, an area of a few kilometers which which is different at different points uh, where both of us claim that land so instead of a no man's land, here we have something, I, I, this is my term, both man's land. And um, the peace and tranquility arrangement uh, agreement between the two countries lays down for decades, we've been following this, that we are allowed to patrol up to our claim line. They are allowed to patrol up to their claim line, but we are not allowed to construct anything in there in that disputed area. And so over the years that we saw, we saw uh, clashes and standoffs and face offs happening when two patrols came face to face in that um, uh, in that area. Now, and Galwan was one such incident that went horribly wrong. And then there were other flashpoints. And now we are seeing disengagement at some of the flashpoints where we came face to face. We were never face deployed face to face like the LOC in, uh, again. Uh, uh, are are you Canada. saying that if India has pushed back, so have they from their? Uh, so, yes. Yeah. Let me. Uh, I'm just coming to that. And that's the last thing I want to make. Yeah. The last point I want to make is when we came face to face at all these places, Gogra Hot Springs, uh, PP15 from which we have disengaged just a couple of days ago. Uh, earlier, we disengaged from uh, Pegongso Lake and four different points we've done so far um, over the last two years, one and a half years. So what has happened is that we had actually come face to face or eyeball to eyeball, very close, where anything, uh, a, a, a stray firing incident by a soldier, unintentional also, could spiral uh, into uh, an, an uncontrolled incident. So it was very it is very much required that we disengage so over a period of meetings 16 17 meetings have taken place and this disengagement process has started now to this uh, question of uh, buffer zone in the what is the disengagement disengagement says you go back to push back to certain distance we will push back to a certain distance so that we are away from at least small arms fire of each other so we uh, so that we don't spark off an un, um, uh, unintended incident the counselor that this statement that he is made on NDTV amongst others is saying that this buffer zone has been created. It has taken away grazing rights of our people, which may be right because uh, graziers may be going to that place for grazing. But now in the interest of security, the government says we are disengaging till we get to de-escalation. That means the troops pull back okay, much further. I get, okay, I get what you're saying. I, uh, 